Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Abdul Rahman Hamdi. I will present uh, our uh, project on gamified augmented reality for interactive learning of sensory milling machine. Uh, this is the outline of the presentation. I will start with the introduction, augmented reality, methodology, finding and analysis, and last with the conclusion. Uh, the augmented reality is an enhanced version of real physical world that is uh, achieved through use of digital visual element, sound or other sensory stimuli delivered via technology. Uh, the augmented reality uh, can uh, use with the tablet and mo mobile phone. Uh, it can also use with the smart glass. Uh, we can easily see the uh, application of AR in Google Map and also in the measurement. And many use in the games. Huh? Uh, the problem statement of this research is a, is a student difficulty to hands on the training uh, or to gather the hands on skill on how to operate the CNC milling machine due to the conventional learning using a demonstration method which is less effective where uh, many uh, students or uh, workers they need to to share the one machine with the others yeah? and then the limitation of face-to-face -face learning uh, method and hands-on learning experience uh, restrict the uh, student understanding and also the limited tutor monitoring and also uh, because of the uh, pandemic COVID-19, so restrict the motion of uh, students so that they, they are unable to, to go to the uh, lab uh, to experience the uh, hands-on of the CNC milling. So in uh, our study, uh, our objective is uh, we develop the uh, AR application. We call it a gamify AR application. And then we validate the application uh, by the expert. And we evaluate the effectiveness of uh, our development. Uh, this is the uh, CNC milling uh, three edges uh, model box for BMC. 1300 model we use to develop uh, AR. It consists of the uh, some uh, component, spindle, table, and turret, uh, and also they have the uh, panel board and use a box spot uh, software. Uh, this is the methodology to develop the uh, gamify augmented reality. We start with the identify the content of the AR. So here we select uh, several operations such as a homing position, uh, workpiece installation, tool selection, datum setup, tool length offset. And then uh, we uh, develop the concept augmented reality in CNC milling machine with the gamified environment for the process workflow with the question and the point given. And then we uh, create, record the video for the uh, instruction how to operate the machine. And also at the same time, we develop the 3D model using Autodesk Inventor for the simulation of the machine. And then we embed together the recorded video and also the simulation using a Unity 3D Vopora engine. And then when we uh, finish develop the augmented reality and we validate the content, the application uh, by the expert. Uh, well, this is the uh, framework of how to use the uh, AR. So the user need to scan the image target, which is the QR code, and then they open the AR application, they can start the game. And then they have to read the instruction and command. They watch the video on how to operate the machine. Uh, and then uh, they can start to answer the uh, quiz or question. If no, if they are uh, wrongly uh, answered, they have to go back to watch the video. And then if or, uh, they give the correct answer, they will be given the score point. And then 
they can go to the next level. Uh, our developed AR consists of three area, which is the instructional. Instructional, we provide the recorded videos uh, to, to instruct the uh, user on how to operate the machine. And then we add with the simulation so that the user can visualize what happened to the, when they operate the, uh, the machine. And also the interactive learning process, we add with the gamification. So they have to answer the, uh, the given uh, question so that students aware what they see and they can, uh, hopefully they can answer the question correctly. Okay, this is the sample uh, environment in our augmented reality. First, at the left side, we have a video on the uh, how to operate the machine. And then we also provide the uh, uh, press uh, control panel, uh, same, same as with the real, uh, real one in the machine. And the right uh, figure is uh, the uh, simulation for the machine. This figure show the uh, how to use the uh, AR application. Uh, so they have to, uh, to scan to the uh, target uh, QR code and then they can create their profile and then uh, they can start to answer the uh, question and answer the question if they, they can see also in the question all the uh, interactive uh, the image same same as in the machine and if they answer correctly, they will be given a score and then uh, they can go to the next level. Okay, at the end of the uh, uh, session, they will get their score uh, when they complete all the tasks. Huh? So uh, the higher score means the better. Lah. So uh, we conduct a test. Uh, uh, they can uh, use the AR for the first time and then they, they answer the question and then we we ask them to do a second time so here we can see that the improvement of answering the correct uh, answer eh? answer with the correct one so there is a drastically improved uh, so by doing uh, several times actually they, they develop their knowledge and uh, understanding on how to operate the machine here also we can conclude that uh, uh, the understanding is uh, increased uh, each time they use this uh, application. And also we, we conduct a, a verification also. We, we develop, uh, we do a test uh, by a two group. One group use a conventional learning demonstration and another one use a develop AR. So, uh, we we measure the completion time for them to to operate the machine in real. So the group one use uh, conventional learning and then they perform the task in the machine. We recorded the time. And another one group B, we give them to experience the uh, AR application uh, more than once. And then uh, we bring them to the lab and then they perform the. Uh, machine operation and then we take the completion time so here we can see that group b completion time is less than group a so means that uh, the ar is uh, uh, effectively used uh, so that the student uh, able to 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 understand how to operate the machine and then the result is uh, they uh, they can complete the task with the shorter time so as a conclusion, we can conclude that uh, uh, gamify AR application improves the learning method, uh, improve the student understanding, uh, improve the psychomotor skill on operate the machine, and also it is very interactive uh, learning uh, process so that the student can can easily uh, grab uh, all the tasks given. And uh, I think that's it for the uh, my my presentation. Thank you very much.